Hi world, Chatty Dad One here with you. So what do we do as a nation when the federal government starts arresting and jailing our sheriffs, our local law enforcement that are elected? What are we to do about this? Ah, boy, we can protest, I guess, but, you know, I thought that the sheriffs had the authority to tell the federal government to go pound sand, but I guess that's no longer the case. I guess the federal government now has absolute all power and authority over our local jurisdiction um, police. Men that we've elected, men that have, have worked with us, that know what's good for us, the people in our communities, in our counties, they know what's best for us and when a sheriff lets a man out of jail and drops the charges because he says this guy he's not broken any laws there's no big deal here so he's got a firearm so he's got a, a, a weapon and so the sheriff makes that call that's what they do that's what they do. That's what sheriffs do. And that's what they have done um, pretty much, I think, since sheriffs were uh, invented. Or, or not, not invented, but you know, you know what I mean. Uh, but, you know, what are we to do as a nation when this starts to happen? This is a very serious thing that we've seen happen here. This is the unraveling of our nation and our justice system. What are we to do when the local authorities are usurped by the government corporate authorities? What are we to do? What is this sheriff to do? And, you know, how's he supposed to, who's, who's going to let him out? Well, it's sure not going to be uh, his deputy, because they've all had their necks stepped on by the big federal government. And it sure ain't going to be Eric Holder that comes down there and says, Oh, I'm sorry, Sheriff, we apologize to you. We're so sorry this has happened. We're going to let you go. No, it's the FDLE. Federal Division of Law Enforcement or the Federal Drug Law Enforcement, whatever you want to do, whatever. I think it's the Federal Division of Law Enforcement. But imagine they, they, they take this step and what's to stop them now from the Treasury coming in? and arresting our local authorities or anybody else you know we we have stories that sheriffs say that they're going to arm escort these men back to their cessnas when they come and uh they're going to send them back home well i don't think this is going to happen we've just seen a sheriff arrested We've seen his own deputy slap the cuffs on him and take him to jail. In jail where he has put in jail criminals in his county. And I would imagine this is in danger of his life. This is a serious problem, folks. We're seeing the beginning and the unraveling of, of the system of checks and balances here.
this is total federal control. The Federals now hold all the cards and control everything. What we were told that the sheriffs had ultimate control is obviously not true because this sheriff, he didn't break any crimes. He didn't break any laws, I mean. <laughs> he didn't do any crime. He didn't break any laws. He didn't do anything wrong. He let a guy go and drop the charges on somebody. What is going on here? This is insane. This is wrong. And, uh, you know, I don't know what to do about it. This only ends in one way. And it's not a good way. I hope everybody's doing well out there. And I hope everybody thinks about this, what has happened here, because it's serious. This is Chatty Dad 1. Never give up your guns, because your rights that we have left go right with them. God help us all, and God bless us all. God bless you all. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And please think about this and share this. This is serious. This is something that doesn't doesn't happen. A, a, a law enforcement official, the top official in our counties, is arrested and jailed for no reason at all. This doesn't happen. This sets a new precedent. This shows where their line is drawn in the sand. And it's way past where we thought it was going to be. Buy all the ammo you can, if, where, and when, and how you can, please. This is Chatty Dad 1, over and out.